Welcome back to another Enshrouded stream. Today we're gonna have some work to do and need to <laughs> make our base livable. Well, and livable I mean livable. Everything is cramped together right now in one little tiny cube and we're gonna have to do a little bit of work. I already experimented with some things, but we're gonna clean all that up. We're gonna do proper stuff and um, I messed around with some of the farm design as well. And this is all gonna change. Well, hopefully today. So um, let's have a look and see what we're going to do. Let me get rid of the reverb. There we go. Now everything should be fine. And yeah, hopefully we should have enough materials because um, I think you only need a couple of things, a couple of stones for making some stone plates. We're going to work with stone today. We're going to work with wood. We're going to work with fancy wood, um, all the good things. So let me just see what we have here. We city wall block. That's something for the walls. I want something for the floor, so roughly cut stone block will probably do. And let's see what that looks like. Bone block, that looks very intimidating. We don't need any roof today. So this is obviously the center of everything, yeah? So this is where I started my house, naturally. But this is all kind of gonna go um, because we're gonna shift it around. So I started already messing around with some things here. Um, different designs, different walls, uh, looking at different type of blocks. I think this one here is the um, half timbered block, which looks actually very nice for walls. So I'm very happy about that. Um, I'm shifting my farms over by one. So I'm working on that in the moment. But what I'm mainly looking at is... We can leave that carpet down probably is uh, to remove this house here at some point in the middle. So um, let me see how we're gonna do that. So if we remove this and then remove all the individual ones here. Okay, so I think we should be able to fit in three blocks here. So there, there's an idea I have in my head. So I want this here to be actually outside in the open. So, and, but I want to make like kind of a, an area that will maybe have a bit of roof because otherwise our NPCs complain and that's where all our NPCs will stand, um, you know, around, um, make it look like maybe an open place, like a marketplace, but I don't know how I'm going to do that. We'll, we'll see. It's all in my head, but we'll see how it translates. So let's see if we can work with different type of, um, types of resources. So we have the roughly cut stone which looks like so let me see yeah that's not bad actually for yeah roughly cut stone for the uh, for the ground will actually be just fine and then we're gonna go i would say three out and three in either direction so we're gonna be able to do this Oh, we can actually replace it. Can we like was like? No, we can't. Oh, we can't place that because what is in the way? The chest is in the way. No, there's something in the way. Is it the wall? That's very strange. What is in the way? If I can place something here and I can place something here, why can I not place it here? Ah. It might be... Oh, we don't have enough stone. That's what it is. Okay, so let's make more rough stone blocks. Let's see if we can do that. Rough stone block. Roughly cut stone blocks. Yeah, it's a rubble. Okay, let's make 10. Okay. That should be enough. Yeah, okay. That's what was the confusing part. So we go three out. And that will be kind of the big square in the middle. Now, I'm not sure. Let me see. I want to do something where it looks like a... Like with pillars maybe in the corner. Then we can see if we can work with some arches or not. Let 
And then, of course, we're gonna have the same going the other way. We're gonna go through a lot of blocks, I have a feeling. Yeah, this I, I was messing around here with uh, house design, but um, I'm gonna get rid of all this again. Well, some of it, um, because I don't want to build the house um, or my building area until much later. There we go. I like the way you can just destroy things like that and nothing's collapsing and you can just completely rebuild. It's, I love this. Okay. Three. Excellent, yeah. And that should be theoretically enough. Okay, so let's uh, put the pillars up here. Turn these actually sideways. That would be pretty sweet. Um, rotate. No, so we can't actually make them go left to right. Oh, we have these guys here left to right. Hmm. They don't seem to go all the way to the top. Maybe we have to walk higher. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, it would be nice to have this one sideways. That would be pretty cool. So maybe we're going to have to do something like that. That's a bit too much. that's too small so oh there maybe this one yeah that looks okay hmm. yeah I'm gonna have to um, think about that ah balls okay why does it keep doing that Okay, yeah, we will work something out. Let's just put the pillars there. We have the pillars here. Very good. And we can't go exactly in the center. That's fine. So if we have something like that, we can only go on the outside. So... So 
So if we have that... Oh, whoops. Yeah, we'll see how we're gonna do the centerpiece. Sorry, I'm just messing around a little bit. So this should be the center, the center square, and the house will be gone. And then we have this here in the middle, and we're gonna build something around it. You know, make it look like there's a couple of benches where you can sit around, something like that. So it should hopefully look good enough for everything. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I just uh, thought I lost connection there for a second. I got some red numbers, so I hope everything is actually live and okay. Um, let's go back here. So this will be all pushed out, but we're going to remove those individual blocks because we're going to put something in there that will look like a path, hopefully. So we have the farms on this side, and then we build the hall here on that side. We're going to remove loads of this mountain here and flatten it all. So what are we going to use for material? Is there anything we can use that will make it look like a path? I wonder. Let me see. If I go activate terrain and we use the, the big square here like that. I only have farm soil in the moment. So if I use rubble or something. We have dirt and we have rubble. I don't think we can build directly with clay. Hmm, maybe we can build with luminous growth. It is a it is a it is a terrain material after all. It's interesting that it actually is. Rubble is not a terrain material. Okay. Okay, that is interesting. So this is actually a terrain material. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't look um, good at all. What about dirt? No. That's just grass. Okay, maybe we do have to build a path or something. So let's see if we have any physical rocks, actually, that we can make that will look good. Fire brick as a path. Hmm. Alien, how are you? Refined wood. Ooh, that might actually look like a nice path. Refined wood. Tarred wood. Shroud wood. What would shroud wood look like? Hmm. Okay, so let's have a look at this. City wall, refined wood blocks. Yeah, that looks more like a nice wooden path, I guess. Mm, okay. That looks actually pretty neat. Um, then what do we have? The city wall blocks, what do they actually look like? 
Yeah, that could look like a path. Actually, it looks pretty nice. Yeah, I like that. City wall blocks. They look nice for walking over things. It looks it looks like a proper path and it doesn't even clash with the stone area here. Okay, so is there anything else that we might can use that looks good? Um rough wood blocks, timber. Yeah, the tim actually the timber flooring doesn't look bad either. But I think stone looks more natural. Yeah, I like the look, the way that looks. That's nice. I'm gonna use that for paths. Um. I think um, if I make them half that width, um, I think it looks a bit too skinny. Because I, I started off with that and then I doubled it up again because it just looked like kind of better doubled up. But anyway. So if we have the farms here on that side. So say we have a path here. We need to make more city blocks. How do we make them, actually? I have no idea what the resources are. Now, we have access to all the resources. I think we just have to zoom, zoom around the map maybe a little bit. Let me see what the city blocks are made of. City wall blocks, stone and dirt. Okay. That is very easy. We just need some stone. And then we should be good to go. Yeah, now we have plenty. City wall blocks. So if we have the farm kind of here, one, two, yeah. So let me see, we measure it by, by these blocks. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna build this up here.
And then we have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, then we're gonna need the this tool here. This is one of your new favorite games, Alien. Very nice, yeah. It's a lot of fun. Actually, I haven't spent actually a lot of time building in it. I, I tried to focus on a lot of other things. So I decided that today I just want to mess around with some of the building stuff. Let's make sure this is all straightened up. close this come on we can do it now we have to raise it probably yeah okay it's too close it's gonna be one of the biggest problems we have here Trying to get this all raised, so we would have to theoretically raise this. How do we do that? Um, we have to use the terrain terrain tool. Um, something like this, maybe. Then we can straighten it more out. Okay, so something like that. And if we can straighten it out a little bit more. Oh. Is it? Oh, stupid controls. R and down. And then we can flatten it a little bit more than needed. Yeah. Good. Ooh. Good. Okay, so the idea is that we have um, this closing over. Out 
of blocks again. O whoops. We're gonna have to do um, serious stone collection, so we're gonna have to go over to another place um, to get some stone sorted out. Um, how's our comfort level doing? Oh, there we go. 16, 21 minutes. Yeah, that's about right. Okay. Um... Terrain materials all in here. And that's our trees. Okay. No. Nope. I'm put the mushrooms here. Yeah, so it looks like we're gonna have to go and get a lot of stone. So I'm um, how we're we gonna do this? We are gonna need to head out and um yeah, take some honey with us. Um honey is here. And that will give us a bit of a buff. Go over and get some water first, and then we're gonna head down to get some rocks. Hi, Pinna, how are you? It's always good to pick up some water until we get our own well. Roy, how are you? Yeah, I think I can actually let you right. I can pick up some of this uh, path here as well. But um, it's quicker if we go to an area like this and just start basically hammering away and picking them all up. And some of the areas in the deeper woods, they have massive rocks. Um, or we just go and mine a, a wall. I think you get a lot of rocks there as well. So if we go here and then... No, not this one. Where is it? This one and fly around here. There's um, loads of stuff down there as well. Um, I'm fine. Thanks for asking, Pinna. Yeah, thank you, Roy. I'm fine myself. Um, we have to go this way. Can you just jump up? Be a good boy. Thank you. What? How did I die? I was just flying down. What? I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I just... went down. Okay, I'm very confused. Um... You're supposed to be able to go down. Did my stamina run out? Maybe. And my tombstone is right here as well. Okay, that is very, very strange.
Because you're supposed to be able to go straight down and I didn't uh, cancel the flight, so no idea. Yeah, it's it's like I just stopped flying and fell. Like I, I don't I wonder if I hit the wall or something and that triggers you to fall. Because I, I definitely was I definitely feel like I had enough um The stamina still left. Very strange. I must have hit the cliffside or something like that. There we go. Okay, let's do that again. <laughs> Very strange. Um, can I just remove that? Yeah, it, it, it hit the cliff. Must have hit the cliff because I was full of stamina, and I thought I was just diving. So yeah, very strange. Um, okay, actually, it put. I, I don't think I have anything in there, is it? Oh, I have some rocks. Okay, I have some stone. Fair enough. So this time, don't hit anything. See, this is what I wanted to do. Because we're supposed to be able to do that. And I thought I did that. Yeah, very strange. So how much stone do we get from just hitting things like that? Is it even worth it? So it's... Well, actually, it's not bad. We get one stone per hit, so we should be able to get a good stack quicker than if we hit and pick up individual stone. That is actually not bad. Yeah, and we get sometimes two stone even. That's because of the... Um, is, is that because I put points in here already? No, I didn't. So for one... 80 stones, that's not bad. So for one quick run, we have 80 stone. I also need to pick up some dirt, which I can get from here, I guess. So if I just do the ground, do I get dirt? I get dirt and stone, okay. We don't get as much dirt. Maybe we get more dirt on the paths. Yeah, we're definitely picking up more stone again here. So, get a little bit of dirt. So, I wonder if there is a path, as in... Yeah, this looks like... This looks like it's going to be all dirt. Yeah, it's definitely faster if we hit the big rock because you can see here we we don't pick it up as fast. Yeah, this is much better for dirt. Just don't hit the bottom layer, because that will be stone. So we need about we need at least um, a couple of hundred, because the um, city block will cost I think two dirt. So we need only 20 dirt for 10, and then it costs 10 stone, so we need a bit, at least 100 stone. So, yeah. So let's do this until we have about 100 dirt, and then we're going to go and focus back on the stone for a little bit. Get that dirty stone. I didn't think I would have to do a lot of gathering uh, on stream. I kind of miscalculated how many resources we need. 
That's my bad, I'm sorry. It's very therapeutic, actually, um, this, uh, to do all this. So this stone we can't destroy? Oh, we can. There we go. So how much dirt do we have? 91. Also, let's make sure we have the honey buff. That gets our stamina up quicker again. loads of dirt here excellent so just over 100 so let's go back to the big boy rock and keep finishing that oh it's nearly broken i didn't bring a second one um, I actually think it will break and disappear then, isn't it? So I have to be careful not to break it. Okay, let's... Um, there's no repair thing here. So yeah, let's just go back and repair it. Don't worry, you will find a way to make inappropriate comments about it, yeah. Well, it is very um, ASMR relaxing, isn't it? <laughs> that that was my that was my that was my intent. Um, let's quickly repair. Okay. Um, I could get rid of this because I want to flatten all this as well, anyway. So getting rid of these big bulky things in my base area might actually not be a bad idea. Oh, look at that! We get so much dirt from this. Actually, wow. That is actually pretty awesome. And this is something we need to get rid of anyway, so might as well. That was a lot of dirt. Very nice. So it seems we get more dirt inside our building area. If that's the case, we might actually just build a random base somewhere where there's a lot of uh, dirt and rocks and we just go absolutely to town. Getting five or six at a time is just crazy. We don't get five or six stone though. looking if there's a bit something outside the area yeah so if we go outside the area will we get the same so if I stay here in the area no I just yeah the stone is the same let's go outside the area at least we're closer to getting repairs
Okay, it's 355. That should theoretically be enough for now. City wall block. There we go. Nice. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this will be one farm square, so we need some dirt now. Oh, sorry, we need farm soil. Yeah, I forgot about that as well. But they only cost one. I think farm soil is actually pretty cheap. Um, whoops. So I don't think we need more than what we have here. farm soil yeah okay so you can see it only costs one which is great so I'm just going exactly to the edge here over the edge Nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. Nice. Okay. Okay, zero, 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 zero. Oh, there's one here. Ah, crap. That's too high. That was also too high. Oh, okay, that's why it was one, because it was too high. Yeah, everything else is covered. Good. Okay, so we're going to have the same here on that side, and that means we have two massive farms. Now, this farm here will be purely flax, and I have no idea how much flax we need for this. Um, in total, I think it's 196 or something like that. We'll see. Let me get um, the fences and these guys here. We'll pick that up. Yeah. Uh, it won't disappear. It will just do far less damage. Um, oh, okay, yeah. Because I think I lost something. I thought I did. I was using something and then I think it disappeared. I don't know what it was. Oh, the the, the torch. Yeah, the torch dis uh, uh, breaks completely when you use it. Uh, up, which is crazy. That's right. Okay, so we are here in the middle. Up, 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 up. And we have the fence here. So this is the middle. Let me see.
One, two, straight. Ugh, okay, hang on. One. How many do we fit around? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's a horrible even number, but it will have to do. Um, so, which means we're gonna leave. Oh, that's strange. That's the center then. These two, so these two are the same. Person. Okay. All right. All right. Three, four, one, two, three, four, very good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we want to make sure we can walk in from all sides, basically. Now we're going to have to work out um, the seeds, how many seeds we need. Um, well, we don't have to work it out, but we need to make a lot of seeds. Okay. Um, will we put them close by? I think so. Since you know what? There we go. That's nice. Same here. One, two, three. Now, let's see what we can do with the flaxseed. Okay, so flaxseed. I think we need about 200. Um, so 204 is what, 20, so 200. So we need to make 20 of those in total. So that's five each. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We don't have enough water, we get no water. To make sure the water refreshes. Um I don't know. Uh, I had it uh, yeah, it could it could be more than that. I'm not really sure, but we'll see. I had it last calculated at 196, but I think I was I had only a three by three, and this is a five by five. So it could be a bit more. We'll see, I want this whole field to be just flax. So. See, now it only refreshes once. Oh, what a pain in the balls. Prolo, how are you? 
If you use tarred wood or shroud wood to make fences out of it instead of uh, in-game fences, it doesn't look so so guppy, and you can make them look the way you want. Oh, that's interesting. So, how do you mean fences? Is there an option here with the? Oh, where's my? Okay, sorry. Um, I don't know why I have this here still. <laughs> it's supposed to be shroud uh, liquid. Um, so what do you, when you say making fences out of uh, tarred wood or something, you're talking about actually um, using a shape to make it look like a fence or something. Is that, is that what you're talking about? Or do you mean actually building fences? Because I don't think we can build any fences um, unless they're made out of wood logs. Uh, single block placement and beams, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll see. So I'm just going to get some more water and then we'll go from there. Get some more wood. It's always nice. Okay, I love it. Try the carpenter with the deco blocks. Yeah, it could be that we still have to unlock it because we do still... That's why I didn't destroy the house yet in the middle. The house in the middle will be gone eventually because there will be a big open area that we have. Um, so we're building basically on this side of the open area a little path into a building. Now, the building will sit inside here. Obviously, on the back of the building, you're going to have the ground up high. That's absolutely fine. Yeah, so I don't have an issue with that. I just want to make sure I don't have any ground inside my building. So um, what that means is um, we're going to have a building like if when we when we build something here. Um, OK, that's a floating block, I guess. Um, like say we have um, something here, so it will be path, path, path. And then somewhere around here, we then will have a huge uh, whatever something that's at least this wide and like this we could have it go up on stairs actually so if we have a, a big open work area and there will be no door it, it will be roofed but it will be open yeah so everything will be open plan here so it's like i don't know if you uh, you know when you're on a market and and uh, or if, i don't know market is not the right word when it's um i don't know something where you go where there's a lot of um you know not only market stalls but also things where they craft something where they actually work so it's not inside a building it's like kind of a platform so you have some stairs going up and then you have this huge platform where you have all the working machines yeah and i thought it would be nice to have something like that here um and it will be roofed so that we can have the like partially roofed so that we can have the npcs maybe standing in it uh, the relevant ones um but we so that way it means we can we don't have to worry about the terrain too too much so we can bring it up to the level where the terrain will be covered and then here on the side we will just have built natural terrain up on the side to cover the holes yeah on the side so that it doesn't look like it's standing on on legs you know and then it looks like it's built into a mountainside or something you know Yeah, we're gonna check out the fence block here as well, uh, of course. Yeah, so um, let me see. Does he have any more fence stuff? Secret doors, dishes, ladders, shelves, cupboards, wooden bucket, miscellaneous, maybe? No. Um, it could be the the blacksmith. Even he's he could have something here. Fences. He has actually. Yeah, you're talking about these ones here. Oh, they're metal fences. They look pretty fancy. It's very strange that we have Anything metal else? fences, but we, the carpenter doesn't have any wood fences. That That is very strange. You would, you would think he does. So maybe later on, maybe we have to unlock a couple of more things uh, first with the 
Carpenter for some reason, which which makes no sense. Fireplace tables, yeah, there's no um, fences here, sadly. Okay. You've got a good eye. Um, anyway, so let's see. Let's queue up um, another 10 here. Sorry, browse. Flux. One, two, three, four, five. And then browse. Flux. And one, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Now we should have plenty of flux left. Let me see. Yeah, we do. We still have 50, 65 flux left, um, which is great. On the other side, I probably will have a lot of chamomile, yeah, because um, the recipes I'm preparing for basically, yeah, is flux is for crafting. But what I'm really preparing for as well is we need a lot of corn, uh, which is easy. We get a lot of corn. Corn, we don't need a big farm because uh, every time you harvest, you get like four or five pieces, yeah, which is great. Now, oh, it takes actually five to craft as well, So, but we get five. So we need this, and we need for endurance the chamomile. So corn, chamomile, and flax. So what I might do is, uh, the chamomile also seems to be five, is it? No, it's one. So chamomile, we only get one. So we make a big farm out of that. Um, half, half with the corn, because corn, we it costs five, but we get about three to five from the farm, you know? So... I don't need that. You need to revisit Mines of Moria, man. The sandbox mode is super fun. Um, yeah, we could go back to it at some point as well. Uh, it's uh, It wasn't early access, wasn't it? I'm not sure. You see, with Epic, it's so hard to tell what's early access and what's not. Okay, so let's get the city blocks here. Two, three, four, five. And then we go up here. Two, three, four, five. Okay, and here we have the second farm then. So let me just pick all that up. And between those two farms, we should hopefully have enough farmland to do whatever we need when we need it. Because in the moment, tomatoes and all that stuff, I don't have really recipes that are of any interest to me that use those. I don't think I have any recipes at all, actually, uh, that use that. Um, okay. Now let's also make sure we are flattening everything here correctly. Yeah, luckily the ground gets a little bit uh, higher here now. So this should be all nicely coming up. Let me see, actually. Can we, mm, Maybe it should be a bit higher here, like this. Because I don't like seeing the, the edge as much over there. So I think it was a little bit low over here, actually. Yeah. That is better. That comes up a little bit higher. Nice. Yeah. Beautiful. Keep that circle kind of here on the edge. Very nice. Yeah, and now we're going to fall off. So now here we're going to have to come up with what we did earlier here, where we built, uh, raised a couple of blocks up and then give it a nice slope that it naturally comes down. Um, unless, we, oh, we might be able to do that anyway. If we do R, hang on a second, and then go an angle like this, I wonder if we can, let me see. Oh, 
Oh shit. Yeah, that wasn't that, that that wasn't as good. I don't know why it came up that high. Oof, okay. I kind of thought we can Ooh, okay, so maybe it's more like intended for this. Okay. So playing around with it and trying to figure it all out. There you go. There you that's that's better. And then we can flatten it again. Yeah, that looks like a pickaxe job. Make that look pretty on the side uh, separately. So I just want to make sure I don't have generally the um, the edges look like shit um, here on the farm. And then this we're just gonna fix separately. We could actually build um, like a wall here and some stairs or something to make it look like it's intentionally going up. You know? I don't know. Let's see. Takes you about twenty hours to flatten the whole resource, the whole area. Yeah, I can imagine. It's it's pretty um, rough. Um, so let's see. We need this one here, and then we're gonna go with this. Okay, so we want this on the edge here, like that. Nothing here. Oh, no, nothing here. Nothing here. Everything perfect. Oh, there's something here. And here. Okay, is that all now closed? All clo Oh, all closed. Yeah. Perfect. All right, so this is the second farm here. See how many do we have? Twenty already. Okay, so that's twenty. Thirty, sixty, seventy, eighty. So what I'm first gonna do is do the outer edges, so we can calculate pretty much um, what it's gonna be. So. Okay, that's the outermost edge, and then we have two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 
20. So it doesn't go exactly to the edge, but it goes to the edge here. So it's about even. So we got uh, 20, is it? Yes. So I'm assuming it's going to be 20 this way as well. So 2. Oh. What? Okay, and there was a glitch. Yeah. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. <laughs> it looks funny. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so it's 20 by 20. Which is 400. Okay, so... How come I only used 19? Hmm. 20 by 20, 400. Anyway, it will be 400. So we have to craft a hell of a lot more. That's good. So we're going to have this fully covered, all flux, 400 flux in any one. And then we can queue up another 100, 100, 100, 100, and we just let it craft. End of story. We just need to figure out the water issue after that. So we won't be able to craft that much right now, but I won't harvest this until I have all that stuff crafted, pretty much. Um, and we're just going to collect more flax in the wild if we need it in the meantime for crafting things. Um, because I want to have this fully covered so that we can have like a full harvest then that allows us to re-craft uh, from that harvest. Surrounded with wood spikes, it would be fine. <laughs> right, wrong game. Yes, exactly. So 400 total. Very good. Um, yeah, so that was good. Um, we got that sorted out. So let's um, have a look through here. Let's put the fences up. We need we need a few more fences, all right, um, and a few more crafting benches. So yeah. Gonna put four here. And one, two, three. I think it's here. Now. Better not take the risk. Two, three, four. And that's it. Okay, so we need another eight, 16, 16 fences. String. Okay. Ten, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we need some lights actually out here as well. I don't know what kind of light um, options I have at this early stage. Let me see. Um, oh, there's actually something I wanted to try out. Is this guy doing it? No, it's where do we craft it? I think it's the blacksmith, is it? Yeah, I want to craft one of those. And um 
oh, what is a pulanga? Add this pulanga to your buildings to pull yourself forward and onto other platforms. And what is this? The cross chasms. Oh, that's a swing one. Yeah, we need that. Looking good. And I want to put it up here just to see if we can get up high, you know, to... I suppose we can always just use the ladder here. Just to see it from the top. Yeah, that looks nice. So we have our farm area here. We can put another one over there if we need to. But that should be plenty of farm space. And then over here, we're going to have our kind of plateau going up um, onto an area with all the crafting stations and everything. And then this here in the middle will be completely free. So we're going to have to build um, something small and nice um, for us to sleep in, I guess, as well. And that will just be for comfort. So that we build a house where everything is just as, as small as possible for comfort and getting the comfort bonus and sleeping. And that's it. We're going to have a separate um, place for cooking then as well. Yeah, you will be able to craft your own wells, which is going to be very cool. So I can't wait for that as well. So let's actually put the wall back up. That would probably help. Um, rough wood block. There we go. And... So the, I need a couple of more of those benches. Let me see what we need to craft them. Um, we need another four, if possible. Seed beds. Can we make another four? Okay, we need farm soil. Let me craft a hundred, two hundred. Okay. Oh yeah, we don't have 30 for a meal. And then I can do one, two, three, four. There we go. Yeah. And now here we can queue up some more um, chamomile seeds. Chamomile. So there's space for 400. <laughs> so I would say, um, yeah, we don't have enough water. Yeah, we need, we need to go back and get water. Let me actually just reload that for the water. So... I would say in the moment, just doing a couple of chamomile, like do 50. So we can do 10 of those. And then for the corn, we're going to do, um, well, 50 corn and 100 chamomile. I think that would be kind of enough. Or 50-50 maybe. And then we still have some room to do something else. And then we have to get the fireplace so we can actually use the buff um, for that stuff. Um, oh, the heck, I can only get one. That is so f so irritating. Luckily, it loads fast enough. So technically, how much water do we need? Um, we craft five at a time. We want 50. That's 10. So that's 10 water. And I'm assuming it's going to be the same with um, the corn. So I 
Albert, how are you? Oh, do you know where there's actually another well with a lot of good goodies where we were yesterday? That little uh, village with the boars in it? That had some nice goodies in it. Okay, I thought this was going to be faster, but uh, it, it's, it's proven that it's not. Um, yeah, I rather have the fields too large, to be honest. Like, that's absolutely correct. Um, it's just that I know... Like, we need a lot of flax at some point. So I wanted to make sure that we will definitely not run out of flax. Okay, so how much water? We have 22. Okay, let's do one more round. And then we spend... Um, the rest of the water is for us. So um, we spent about 10... 20 water on crafting seeds. And then the rest will be just for us on our journey. And I think there's even some water here, actually. I know there's food. Oh, I thought there was some water here as well. No. Okay, fair enough. Okay. This looks a bit weak. Yeah, there we go. Get that grass up nicely. Beautiful. Now it doesn't look like something is broken. Very good. Let's queue up the chamomile. Um, ten. And um, corn. Ooh, nice. Um, where's the corn? So corn, oh, we actually get t 20. So in this case, we're just going to make two. There you go. we just make two. Because we actually get a lot of corn from that. Let's make three, then it's 60. And then here we can make, we made 10, that's 50. 55, 60, there we go. Okay, good, good, that's better. Equal numbers. <laughs> Gotta keep it equal. <laughs> I know you can't harvest the food and it auto replants, I know, but basically what will happen is I will, when it's fully grown, I will harvest it once and replant it once and the idea is that those 400 flax will last for quite a while, yeah? Uh, so we don't have to do it that often because if you look at the recipe here for linen, 400, we should get 200 linen from that. And that should last us a little while, I hope. At least. <laughs> That's the idea. The bigger problem I have is all the stuff that comes with um, uh, 
mining like we're gonna have to get a mining session in where we come back with so much ore i mean look at this here for example yeah, this takes 20 copper ore 20 for 10 copper bars that is crazy yeah um oh actually i have my armor now done actually this is level 13 level 13 level 13 level 13 yeah okay our armor is actually up to date so okay yeah that's good 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 okay what is all this oh that's my bonuses yeah so there's no more better armor right now and we have the up-to-date axes as well uh, tools basically so yeah we're doing okay on everything now metal scraps we're gonna uh, we have a couple of places where we can go and get them but let me clean up now everything because now we're gonna have to go and get the um whatchamacallit uh fire fireplace now when it comes to the arrows um where did i put the arrows here flint arrows i have 134 they only do eight damage so we'll probably need more. Let me see. We should be able to craft some copper arrows. Let me see. How much do we need for copper arrows? Oh, a medium backpack? I didn't even see that. When did that unlock? <gasps> I love it. Extra eight slots. Ooh, yes. Stay sharp. So sexy. Oh, yes. I love it. And it looks like we're gonna get another big backpack there. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so let's have a look at arrows. At least when you make and carry iron pickaxe, mining goes a bit faster. Yeah, I can't wait to get into the iron production then. So in the moment, arrows, we have the poison arrows, which are really cool, actually. Um, because we have a lot of poison sacks as well, but we can only make 25. Oh, we can actually make quite a lot. These were awesome. Now, I really love the, the shroud arrows. They're just my favorite, yeah, because if you have a big bulk of people running at you, two of those, if you hit them spot on where you hit everybody, half the health is gone nearly before they get to you, which is absolutely fantastic. It works really good on bosses as well. You can just see the health ticking down, and then you just pow pow hit them a little bit then one of those in the face again it's it works really nicely so um let me see we can craft let's craft two more of those and then copper arrows how many can we craft 50 100 oh actually that's cool 200 nice station Um, where's the other ones now? Um, here? Yeah, copper arrows. There we go. Excellent. 263. That's only 18 left. We don't... Yeah. There you go. Okay. Good. All right. So I think we're, we're well prepared now. Um, hopefully. Bone arrows also do 14 damage. Oh, very nice. So, like I said, this little house will stay until we finish with everything because this is going to be a multi-stream kind of build. And I don't want to do like three hours of building. And so we already spent a lot of time building now the farm. So I will off-stream finish ha like doing the whole farm, uh, like as in planting everything. Because you don't need to watch me plant all that stuff. And um, then... We're going to work next on that big pl work plateau here. Um, I wonder if we could make a pyramid of stairs going up. That would be pretty sweet to see. So it would be nice to see if we can make some stairs going up from here and here onto a platform 
you know, but not too high, just a little bit, because we only need to get to about this height. So you're talking like one or maximum two levels of stairs and that's it. And then we can actually flatten this pretty much out from here. Like we can take the lowest part here, I would say about here, and we can flatten that all out here on top. And then you're talking about maybe two levels and that's it. Okay, do one more refresh now that we're done. Oh, we need um, to make more health potions. What do we need for the health potions? Good hunting. Okay, water, of course. So why don't we... And then we do one more reload for some more water. No, we didn't do the hallowed halls yet. So I was going to do the hallowed halls um, today, but then I, I I I needed to start working on the farm and the build the properly building. So we needed to start working on that because I I need the amount of resources I need. If I don't prepare for that properly, it's gonna be ridiculously stupid. Um. Oh, you only have one more hallowed hall, and we also upgraded all our gear, which is nice. Um, so one thing I want to do first before we do the hollowed halls, because we need the buffs for it, for the hollowed halls, I think, is we have a, a fast forward point here, and this is somewhere here is the fireplace. So we basically just going to look around here and have, and there's a big city and hopefully we're going to get some nice drops, you know, and uh, explore the big city. That would be really sweet. Old McKick's working on Swam, yeah. <laughs> oh, the water situation is dire at this stage. Yeah, and we can only do it one time. Oh, we only have six water. Um, okay, so now um, rest. Comfort, very good, and food we have here. Okay, and we need the shroud potion as well. So, just in case we get into the shroud, so let's split the stack even. And here we go. Yeah. Yeah, and we have plenty of those. We actually don't even need that many, I think. There we go. What do we have here? Plus 20 stamina? That's plus 20. I need stamina recharge, maybe. This is light. Do I have a blazing skin? Ice protection. Okay, and here we have some more healing potions, so let's take them as well. Okay. Let's put the honey away. go oh we also want to get some strawberries because they are our best healing alongside some bandages so can we make better bandages hmm, no okay oh sorry we can make up to 20 I think they're stuck up to 20 and then that's enough. So, yeah, okay. We have some healing here. Good. Okay. Let's go. Let's head over here and see if we can get that fireplace going. And then we have the buffs. And then hollow halls will be in the next stream after that, I think. Because I think it will take about two hours to get through the whole hollow halls uh, safely. And actually be able to fight everybody. Um, so, let's go. Um, I got a few lock picks on me, yeah. I got four on me. Um, but I think there there will be a high chance of finding some metal as well. So there's the city. Oh, is that in shroud? Is that covered in shroud that city? Oh wow. So 
So I have no idea what to expect here. There will probably be a lot of death. Is there anything on the outside? Oh, wow. Is there all dead soldiers here? What is this? I don't like the way this sounds at all. Okay, hang on a second. Oh, this bitch. Is this an animal? So, I'm assuming we have to just look around everywhere for that. Ah! So hard to see in here. Oh. Level 15. If we can find a nice legendary weapon here, that would be sweet. Oh, I like that we can get rid of the shroud here. That's actually pretty awesome. Oh, you know what? We have to collect all these bushes. Uh, because we need a lot of twigs. <laughs> oh, nice. Honey. Awesome. Let's stay up here because I... Oh. There you go. Okay, back into the shroud. So what's here first? Let me check this place out. Okay, resurrection shrine. Very good. Oh, it's a flame shrine. Oh, I take it. Two sparks as well. Nice. Get me all those resources here. Oh, there's a chest. Nice. That was nicely hidden. Ugh. Yep. Okay, so this is just going back out. Oh, nice! Okay, okay. Let's see if there's a screaming witch. That's okay. It's not that much damage. It's okay, it's only a little damage. Okay. 
looks safe. These guys hit like trucks. Let me get back out here for a second. That was that was close. That was close. Anything to pick up here? What is that? No. Okay. Oh, there's a chest. green but it might be stronger than what I have it's 24 power already ah stupid stamina don't like those bows they look awesome but I hate the stamina bows okay. at least we got part that part uh, past that part let's see what we have here oh there's a well Get some water. Yes, nice. Welcome to the trap, yeah. It looked really like, okay, we killed the two guys that were protecting it, you know. Okay, that's it, I guess. Um, how many, we got one point though only, okay. Oh, what's in here? Interest here. 
Let's go upstairs. <gasps> nice, more water. We nearly leveled up as well. Okay, there's deadly shroud down there. Oh, here we go. Oh, yes. Nice, here we go. Beautiful. And another two sparks. Veiled in holy light. Okay, it's just some background story stuff, okay. An experience scroll, nice. Lockpick, water. Here. Oh, just what type of arrows are there? Oh, poison copper arrow. Yeah, please. And the bandage, always appreciated. So here we have the big, the big bad shroud, but there is more on top. Oh, what do we have here? <gasps> A golden chest. Wow. Shroud time plus 40? Can we upgrade this ring? Is this ring upgradable? That's pretty awesome. The stamina bows love me, yeah, and they're probably really good if you can manage the stamina, but I'm terrible with stamina because I always panic and then do the wrong thing. Oh, there's another shroud plant I want. How do we get in there? Oh, hey guys. Oh, that is awesome. Can I just shoot you in the penis? Oh, he's gonna come out here, isn't he? Can we just get through the gate? Or the wall, actually. Ah! That was way too close. I like that we have in the shroud thing there. Let's see how we get there. Oh shit, here it is. Where's the naughty dude? Here's the chest. Oh, there he is. I can see his tippy tip.
I don't want to go down. I'm going to die. Oh, my food. Hello. There we go. Cheese him a little bit. Maybe do a little sneak here. Maybe a poison one as well. And with a shroud. And then a couple of copper. Nice. Gotta cheese it, you know? Okay, let's go down. Oh, his health is back! What a cheater! shit that was a good hit Just another thunder brood. Uh, wizard boots, yeah, I'm already wearing them for the health gen. Um, this one we can salvage. That was actually pretty awesome. <laughs> I was trying to cheese him and he was like, oh, I'm just gonna fully heal up again when you come down. Okay. <laughs> that was actually pretty awesome. Ooh. What is that fancy looking glove? Guard of the North glove. Magic damage, range damage, melee damage. Holy crap. Yes. Minus one maximum. Ooh. But you know what? That is okay. That is okay. That is really good gloves. I love it. Do a little bit more, a little bit more exploration here. Yeah, he's the shield dude. I swear I was holding down my right click. It's like really weird when you're not directly head on and you raise your shield. He doesn't seem to raise the shield at all. It's really weird. I swear I was clicking it. Oh. So we have 
here. Oh, nice. <sighs> All done. Thank you. <laughs> Let's have a look through the buildings here before we go up. was another chest so this is where we came from okay oh what do we have here okay There's some dude randomly running around. Okay. He's not attacking me. Oh, there he is. Seriously, dude. He dropped his bow. That's a normal bow, but we can't upgrade it. This is actually a pretty exciting um, place, this town. Yeah, that's where we came from, yeah. something there no okay yeah, that's just the plant I think there's a basement down there let's have a look through that Here, actually. Oh, is that shroud wood? That would be sweet. Oh, we can't pick it up, but can we? Oh, it's just wood logs, yeah, not worth it. There's a chest up there, I think. Let's see if we can get up there. Careful here. Careful. Okay, let's sleep through the night, actually.
I don't know if I'm... What's happening? Okay. Um, eat. Heal. Drink. There we go. Oh, they're immune. Oh, bastards are immune to shroud. Not immune to pointy arrows, though. Shit, you actually need... So how can I get up there? Ooh. That is so dangerous looking. Oh, no, 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 no. This will swing me, but where? <laughs> this is so dangerous. That will swing me right into something. I don't like this at all. Well, you know what? Let's go for it. Okay, we have a book here. Nice, there's a ladder here. Oh, nice. Okay, we got this. We got this. Easy peasy. Be good. Ooh, trousers? Okay, what do we got? Wizard pants increase damage reduction limited from limit from magical armor. Um, yeah, that that would be too much of a loss though if we would wear them because we have plus forty five health, and this would give us less resistance and just a little bit more armor. But nah, it's not it's not good. Do you have all the quests in this area? I don't know. Um, a rising tide. I have something here. I don't know what that is for. That is obtain a hidden chest at the harbor. Okay, we can try to do that. And then we have a scattered legacy, which we picked up in here, which is... is uh, that's just the story stuff. So the one that's actually a side quest, it seems, is rising tide. Oh, look at that. There's an idiot over there. Yeah, get those crits, baby. Thank you. So how do we get across? Um, it looks like we have to go across here. Ooh, shit. Ooh, no, 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 no. Don't tell me I have to go down there. Really? It looks very dangerous down there. Ah! Down here, maybe? Oh, 
Oh, this is all. I can't see anything. I don't know if it's safe to jump anywhere there. It's very hard to see. So I think what we should do is um, stand up here and then bomb the the floor. See if it's safe to um, jump down there anywhere. Okay, what do we have here? There's a chest. Oh, you're kidding me. Gives me a cheap ass bloody white. Let's see if we can get across here somehow. Oh crap. I just went accidentally into flight mode and could have absolutely killed myself. That was awesome. Pretty happy with myself there. not good. How do I get up there? Ow! Ow! Okay, can we get up there now? Okay, we're up here now. Does that lead all the way around? No, that leads away again. I want to get to the center crossing there. So, how do I get to that tower that you're talking about? Um, it's like when people move to the controller around thinking it will help to turn while driving in a... Oh. That was terrible. So how do I get... Hmm. Is it up there, I'm assuming? So we have to somehow get across there.
always someone. So how do we get up to the tower? Okay, so let's see this. I would like to get... Oh! I would like to get up there. Somehow. Okay. Is there a way to climb up there? I don't think so. Surely we have to... Screw you, you little shit. You always... Someone is always after me. Okay, let's just kill this first. <laughs> Yes! Okay, good. We're somewhere kind of safe in here now, I guess. Um, so now we have to get up there, is it? Oh, what is that? It's red here. Why is it red here? Oh, is that just the sun going down, is it? It's not actually a red item. Oof, okay. Oh. Okay. What is underneath there? chest Ugh, all this can't loot the body okay let's go out so how do we get up there It's a lovely bed, actually. So I'm assuming which which way is the tower? I'm assuming this this tower over there is what you're talking about. Oh, the hip lantern! Yeah, that would be amazing. Hello? Hello? Oh, it's nice and quiet. It's very peaceful.
Ooh, I got really excited when I saw the yellow and then immediately decided not to get excited. Rusty sword. 32 damage. It's a 200. 6 poison damage? Yeah, <laughs> for funsies we could keep that. Resurrection point. Hmm. I don't know if I want to go down there. Looks like it might hurt. I don't want to go down there. Oh, okay. Ah! <laughs> no! Okay, what do we have here? What do we have here? Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Did I lose everything? Oh, I didn't lose my pot. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I can hurt this guy. This is crazy. I don't think this guy can be hurt by me. I'm like puny little arrows. He looks at me and laughs. He's like, what do you want, you puny little human? Oh my god. <laughs> So, uh, what level do you have to be here? Full armor set at level 25, is it? How do I get back up here? If I jump down, how do I get back up? Mm, there has to be a way of getting back up. Okay. Let's try this again. Um...
Oh, come on, give me some stamina. Be good. Oh, be good to me. There we go. That's okay. That's okay. I'm back up here, which is okay. So... You did it at 15. Uh, oh, yeah, no, I can see that um, if you can time his moves. Yeah, he's so if you stay between his legs, you're actually pretty safe. Um, I noticed. But so he, he does a couple of attacks which are kind of easy enough to avoid. You just stay between his legs. When you see him jump, you just block, I guess, if that works. And um, I just don't think I have enough damage to actually hurt him fast enough. The one thing that's obviously worrying about is... Um, the adds. The, the adds hurt. Um, how much damage are we going to do with this, actually? I'm not gonna get my stuff back now. I'm gonna have to run in, get my stuff, and run back out. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, let me run in and quickly back out because my stuff is over there now. Yeah, I don't do enough damage. I need much better damage. Yeah, I need more. I need better damage. Wow, so he's the big boy over here. Can we build a little travel, fast travel point here? Because that would be pretty sweet. Oh, a chest in the attic. So let's see if I can build something here. Um... It would be good. Um, ooh, we need stone. Stone. I suppose rubble will give us stone. Come on, there has to be some stone here. Do I not get any stone from here? Come 
Come on, why do I not get stone when I need it and I always have it on me when I don't need it? So there's a chest somewhere here in the attic, it says. Oh yeah, very mature. Love it. <laughs> oh Jesus, somebody having a lot of time on their hands. <laughs> oh, very funny. I don't need I don't need mods for that nonsense. Don't worry about it. It's very simple. Um, make make them subscribe. At least they get something out of it. There you go. Now they have to be subscribed for five minutes before they can be idiots. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's too funny. You get them every now and then. So, how do we get stone? Here, I don't think we're gonna get stone here. I don't want to go all the way back down. I just want to be able to see if I can build a... Um, fast travel point up here. Let's see, there's, surely there has to be some stone here somewhere. That looks like it's gonna have stone. You did it at level 25. Yeah, I, I think for the first time I probably would go high level as well. And then maybe if I create a second character in the same world where I have all the fast travel points unlocked, I would probably test my metal and say, okay, let's do it. No armor, low weapon. Let's see how far we get, you know? Yeah, I'm trying to see if some of the deco uh, gives me stone, yeah. They all would. Nothing gives stone. I think that might be intentional, to be honest. Um, not giving you any stone. It sucks. Um, actually, if we can... Can we get back up here very easily? Um, let me see. Because... Oh, yeah, we can. Excellent. So what I can do then is, right here, there's going to be some stone. Because we can dig into here. There's dirt and stone. There you go. Oh. No hat challenge. Ah. <laughs> uh. I don't have an issue not wearing a hat. It's just my hair is so short. There's nothing. I just look better with a hat, I think. Well, I mean, outside I walk around without a hat, but... Okay, let's see. We're back up here. Okay, Imperial Garden. See, can we place one here? Not enough free space. Cannot build here. Okay, what about down there? So scary. 
Okay, is there an easier way in here from the other side, maybe? From over here? Because I have a fast travel point here, but I would have to go through all this here to get to here. Yeah, okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna check if we can get up somewhere here, and then we can put a fast travel point here and just soar down. Something like that. Um, yeah, let's actually see if there's something in the at attic, at least. Um, So let's 38. So somewhere here. In here. Okay. There's a house. Copper arrows, nice. This looks amazing, this area. the chest I can hear something. Where is it though? Oh, is it here? Is it? Oh, what is this? Cryptic want, okay. I, st I can hear it. Where, I, I just can't see anything. Where is it? It's in the attic. We are in the attic. This is awful. I can hear the damn thing somewhere. I wonder if it's below us. Oh, did we pick it up? Was that it? Oh, okay, so it wasn't a chest. It was this thing here. Okay.
Okay, I think... Yeah, I think we're good. Oh, okay. Which means I haven't been here before. We haven't touched that. We haven't touched that. of interest here okay I think we're good to go home that was pretty exciting actually I really enjoyed that that place is sick There's something shiny in there okay. I bet you there's at least another two three secrets here like I, I know there was a, a, a way down somewhere oh What is this here? Oh yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Oh, hey, awesome. Okay, let's actually go back. We have to come back here and investigate more. This is pretty awesome, but I have so much stuff on me that I don't want to lose. Well, some of it. That, um... I don't want to die here necessarily, but I also don't want to leave in a way. Oh, what is that? There's a treasure. Okay, fine. We look for one more treasure. It might give us something nice. One more treasure. Where are we looking for the treasure? Somewhere here? King Commander, son of Claus Pike, meet Grand Patron of Revolver. His vigilance gaze unites us as one, shields us from the calamity, and ushers us in the age. So this set doesn't have any hints or tips. Location reached, um, maybe up here? In front of the statue? Oh, like underground. Ah, no, it's not underground, is it? It is. Okay. Ugh, Archer Gloves. Damn it. Throwing damage, that's useless to me. But nonetheless, awesome. Okay. Shroud, shroud. Flame shine, flame shine. Okay, so this is the fast road point we have, but we're gonna have to see if we can get somewhere here and then kind of jump in. At least we know now where it is. So let's um, skedaddle. And this is stuff we have to do as well. So um, 
But the pot, that's what we wanted. The main thing, what we wanted is the pot. It's, oh, is it the vigilant gaze is where he's looking? Okay, yeah. Fair enough. Yes, I have the pot for you, my lady. But let me um, put all my stuff away. nothing in there <sighs> yeah there we already have that type of glove It's a pity you can't scrap that for parts, but we already have them. So, um, warrior arms, we're gonna keep them. This one is crafted, we probably can delete that because this is all crafted stuff. The archer chest, the rising fighter, the fur chest, that was all crafted. What? Um, so this is the one we found. So we found the archer helmet, the archer chest, the archer gloves, and the archer... No, we don't have the archer boots yet. The rising fighter stuff is all the things that are crafted. Yeah, so... Wandering boots, warrior arms... Wizard boots, fur trousers, fur boots, yeah. Two pair of wizard boots, the same stats. God forbid you find the same item just with better stats. But that would be nice. Um, let me have some pants here. It's actually chest, arms, pants, feet. So we can put the pants down here of the wizard, and then we have some warrior arms here. Okay. Oh, can I upgrade that ring? No. Okay. So we can upgrade this, and we can upgrade this. My pleasure. 34 damage, 48. Yeah, it's not a lot of damage, isn't it? Is that a 100 weapon, though? Because it will do more damage than that. Ah, but this one has recharge. You see, that's the thing. And 34 is not that much more. Um, I leave it here. It looks weird. Rusty sword. It just sounds like it's somehow special. I don't know. this we can always craft this again I have stuff I have shroud sacks where are they I think they're in here no ah there we go Found the kettle and let's craft the fireplace. Don't be a stranger. Um is stealing pot now. Yeah, I just recorded a clip for your kicks. We'll upload it and send it to you shortly. Okay, cool. Um well for now we can leave it here. And that is where we can now finally do things like that. Oh, that is so brilliant. Um, because I have all my meat in here. 
uh, the raw meat. Let me see. Raw, raw, raw. Raw, 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 raw. Um, what else do we have? We have six recipes. Grilled, grilled, roasted corn cob. Okay. What does that do? Roasted corn cob. I wish it would show us here actually what it does. See, now I need to take one out and, and see what it does. Uh, where's my corn cob? Hey! <sighs> Just one. And I'm assuming we can make multiple fireplaces now. The kettle we should be able to craft. Strange letter. Flame on some time ago. Mm. Curious thing happened. I received a note. Take a look from Reagan. Courtesy of Conway. I've never met Reagan, but I know the Conway's couriers from the east. They must have traveled through the trade outpost Blazing Rock to deliver the message. Can you investigate? Sure, I guess. Um, smelter. Forge. Crucibles. There we go. Kettle. Excellent. Okay. So we can do all that now. We just need some basic resources. That's good. Okay. And then we're gonna queue all that nonsense up. What do you have? Oh, masonry tools. Carpenter was on masonry tools. That's it. That's the joke. <laughs> I'm a far supposer. Yeah, okay, go on. Um... Beds, tables. Oh, look at you! You got new tables that give us more comfort. Yeah, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to sit down once we have our little house. We're gonna make sure that we get the highest of highest comfort levels for everything. Yeah, and I can't believe we can make such amazing benches and beds, but we still can't make a shitter that's better than a feckin' hole in the wood in a piece of wood. Um, illumination. Ooh, that actually looks nice. Oh, man. And banners, and then we have windows. Okay, that's that's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, Cupboard shelf dish. Fences! Oh, yeah, there's the fence now, the stone fence. Nice, but we need the masonry tools for that. Water wells! Wooden bucket! Wooden bucket! Craft it, right now. Water well. No! We need the masonry tools. I'm gonna make so many water wells. We're gonna have so much linen. Oh my god. I'm gonna have like literally a whole square here of water wells. It's gonna be glorious. That's gonna be amazing. Okay, do you have any new recipes unlocked that I need your stuff for? No, we only need the forge. Adventure said that's what I had. Yeah. Oh, the chest. We probably should craft this actually. Because I think my current no, chest is a bit meager. It's 24 stamina, which stamina is good. But I think this will be better. Let's craft that chest. And what about the trousers? 45 health? No. Adventure trousers. No. Adventure trousers I already have. Yeah. Adventure boots. 2 health regen. 15, 7. You're still here. 15, 7. Oh, okay, yeah, it doesn't really matter which way around. A little bit more magical resistance can't hurt. Yeah, there we go. 120 health. Nice. Love it. Okay, so um, let's try these out, see what they look like. Oh, they're big, holy crap. Let 
we want to add to the comfort level. So we're going to put it um, somewhere where it's not in the way, I guess. Sure. Let's put it here. <laughs> it's like, yeah, whatever. Okay. Hey, we have a corn on the cob. Nice. We get plus two strength. Okay. That doesn't... Nah. You know, for 20 minutes, plus two strength. It's only plus two strength. Um, hmm. Let me actually see. So in the moment, my stats are melee damage 49. So we have 49, 19, 39. 49, 19, 39. So we get an extra 10% melee damage. That's actually not bad. Let's cook all the meat. Okay. Yeah, that was really cool. I'm going to have to leave this here. Um, I'm going to have to do a lot more gathering and planting. So, But I'm going to do all this uh, off camera. We have, I think we have what? Uh, we need 400 um, in total here. And I only have um, crafted how many? Let me see. So we have 161. And we had 80, was it? Because we have 20 and 19. Yeah, 20 plus 20 plus 19 is 70, 80, and then 20. So 200. So I made half of it. So we need another 200. So I'm going to plant all of these guys. And then I'm going to craft another 200 uh, with resources I gather from the outside. And then we're going to have a whole area here full, which is going to be amazing. It will look pretty good as well, I think. Yeah, but all the comfort level really does is give you a, a longer rested bonus. It doesn't actually give you more rested bonus. As in, it doesn't give you... Uh, uh, like more stamina than if you have it for 15 minutes or five minutes. So the only difference is the higher your rested bonus is or the longer, the less you have to go home to to apply it. But when you die, it's gone anyway. So I think that's the only difference. You don't actually get more stats. At least I don't think so. Yeah, it doesn't increase maximum uh, stamina and uh, increase maximum stop increase stamina maximum and re who wrote this? Why couldn't you just say increase maximum stamina and regeneration? Increase stamina maximum. Jesus, um, that, uh, that that completely confused me now. Um, yeah, but it, does that increase in regen? get higher when you have a higher comfort? I don't think so. It only gives you more time, yeah. Um, stamina regeneration is 25 per second. So I'm assuming if we have no rested bonus. So let me see. Let me get rid of my rest. Oh, nice. We have actually three times now. That's good. you my friend where are you come on there's usually one 
Seriously? Where is he? Oh, he's dead? Okay, why is he dead? Level one axe. <laughs> there was a warrior here. I don't know why. They're probably not respawning because maybe my buildable area is too close or something. I don't know. I wanted to die and see. We're going to have to test it out. So I'm going to have to go and top myself. And um, actually, we might be able to do it from here. Is that Yeah. Come on, before I heal up. There we go. Quickly out, out. No, 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 no. Ah, God damn it. annoying anyway we're gonna have to check it out at some point and see what what happens after uh, the rest of the bonus because um i want to see if we how much we actually get if the full 25 is coming from the bonus or not anyway um get to pick out uh, uh if you build areas covering the shrouded area they won't spawn oh okay yeah that's fine that, that makes sense okay all right, we're gonna need to kill the doggy because I think we need the doggy's head to upgrade our thing. So um, we're gonna need to beef up on our armor, on our weapons, all that good stuff. Oh, look at that. That was awesome that we actually died from up there. That looks like a little chimney now. Look at that, how awesome. Okay, I'm gonna leave it here. Listen guys, thank you so much um, for joining the stream and for sharing all the information, especially around the area we explored. I'm glad we got the food sorted out now, which means we can do our buffs. We can craft our popcorn now and our energy. So actually we can craft a lot right now, which is really good. So stamina recharge is gonna be very important and um, health regeneration and endurance is gonna be important. So we might actually have three consistent um, so energy, endurance, and then food. So we have food, energy, endurance. And, and between the three of them, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. So we can craft 10 of those and we can probably craft 10 of those. There we go. And um, perfect. That's, I mean, this is only five minutes, so we probably want to craft more of these guys uh, than the other ones because we have to refill them more often. But I think now between the... Uh, we don't need the drink anymore for stamina because we have the stamina recharge uh, from there because drink only gives us what um, Plus two stamina recharge. So we don't need this anymore because we can have this we have food here We don't need this anymore because we have this and this is gonna be our buffs basically Yeah, great. That's amazing. So we're sorted now No more water needed. We're gonna purely use water now for crafting and that's it. Anyway, thank you so much. And on the way out, if you could leave a like, that would be very much appreciated. And um, I see you guys tomorrow, probably. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, hello. <laughs> Dismantle. Oh, wow. I just, dis what did I destroy? Shit, I have no idea. Anyway, I dismantled a, a rabbit. Okay, that is weird. Anyway, thank you very much. Have a good night and stay safe. Bye-bye.